from the Royal Albert Hall in London. It's the first ever Global Citizen Prize, hosted by John Legend. We'll be celebrating some of the world's most inspiring people with well-known faces in music, entertainment, and activism. Featuring exclusive performances and never-before-seen collaborations from Chris Martin, Jennifer Hudson, Georgia Smith, and John Legend. This is the 2019 Global Citizen Prize. Welcome your host, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award winner, John Legend. Please welcome your host for the evening, Selena Gomez. Please welcome back Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Welcome Ben Affleck and Jimmy Kimmel. Live from Los Angeles, it's Fox's New Year's Eve Toast and Roast 2021. Hosted by Ken Jong and Joel McHale, with appearances from Marshawn Lynch, actor and social media star Leslie Jordan, Tim Allen, Tiger Queen Carol Baskin, Jane Krakowski and Randy Jackson, Ice T and Coco, Call Me Cats, Mayan Bialik and Cheyenne Jackson, Dionne Warwick, Jason Biggs, an actor that's been on the Sexiest Men Alive list more times than Ken and Joel combined, Morris Chestnut, and performances by Leanne Rhyme, John Legend, Green Day, Gloria Estefan, Ava Max, Gabby Barrett, David Guetta featuring Ray, Dr. Elvis, plus our Toast and Roast house band, Craig Robinson and the Nasty Delicious, and Kelly Osborne is live in Times Square. Now, here's your hosts, Ken Jong and Joel McHale. The star of our show and the universal symbol of the new year is the Times Square Ball. At 12 feet in diameter and lit with more than 32,000 Philips Luxian LEDs, it weighs over 11,000 pounds and is covered in more than 2,000 Waterford crystal triangles, making this the largest crystal ball in the world. Hello, Times Square. I'm Allison Hagendorf, and I am honored to be your official host for Times Square 2017, the global celebration at the crossroads of the world. Of all tonight's award moments, the most mind-blowing is yet to come. Video of the year. This year's battle for video supremacy is beyond belief. Taylor Swift has captured plenty of EMAs in years past, but never video of the year. Will her rogues gallery of kick-ass women and secret weapon Kendrick Lamar destroy the competition? If you love like that, blood run, cause baby, we no, Or will Kendrick prove to be his own worst enemy? His brilliant black and white clip is more than just all right. But will it be enough to win him his very first video of the year? We gon' be alright, alright, we gon' be alright. Mark Ronson and Bruno Mars certainly didn't funk up when crafting their uptown sound. Will they pop a stretch limo wheelie on the other nominees and take the big prize? Will Ed Sheeran waltz in with his elegant moves and heartfelt lyrics to steal a whole lot of hearts and one shiny moon man? We found love right where we are. Beyonce has seen video of the year glory before. Is a camera phone, a few friends, and some killer moves all she needs to be crowned BMA queen once again? Before the night is over, the most burning question will be answered. Who will win Video of the Year? 
for these teenage girls, being 16 and pregnant was only the beginning. Ah! Your number one priority is your child. You didn't leave me in the stroller. Now, life as a teen mom means every day is a real struggle. Even with the ups, there's a lot of downs. This sucks. I can't understand how somebody can give their baby away. You don't talk to my goddamn dad like that! And one thing is certain, being a teen mom is harder than anyone ever imagined. I would have never lost my virginity to somebody I thought would treat me like this. The new MTV series, Teen Mom, premieres Tuesday, December 8th at 10. Tonight, from the Pacific Design Center in the heart of Hollywood, California. Your biggest entertainers of the year will be toasted by their heroes, mentors, and celebrity friends. VH1 and Entertainment Weekly present Big in 2015. Tonight, VH1 honors the biggest names in pop culture, celebrating Amy Schumer, Taraji P. Henson, Elizabeth Banks, Aziz Ansari, the cast of Straight Outta Compton, and Nicki Minaj, with appearances by Channing Tatum, Julianne Moore, Ice Cube, Aubrey Plaza, Queen Latifah, Gabourey Sidibe, Debbie Allen, Jesse Smollett, Amber Rose, Lee Daniels, Cedric the Entertainer, Miss Piggy, Terrence Howard, and more, with a performance by L. King. This is Big in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host for the evening, Tip T.I. Harris. What's going on? What's going on? Saturday, May 7th at 9 p.m., only on HBO. This week on Rock This, we have live performances and an exclusive interview with you 2 My feeling going into this album was I just want to make sure I've said everything I want to say to the people that I love the most. Looking at my sons, what is the most important thing I can leave them? Cash to buy a car or, or a house or something? Or is it a way of seeing the world? For all this, plus the 50 best new rock tracks, head to Rock This on Spotify now. Americans aren't just eating more than ever before. They are curating their consumption in such a way that they pose, filter, and fluff their feasts. I would like to make a face mask of this sauce. I'm Allison Hagendorf, and this is Food Porn. Today, I'm taking on Los Angeles. We may be in the city of angels, but I'm about to make a deal with the devil for a day of indulgence. Rock and roll and running have always been my constants. I'm Allison Hagendorf, and I'm the head of rock at Spotify. No, baby, you don't. Even though I'm out most nights seeing bands, I always make time for running. Mornings are mine. I use that time to ground myself, to exercise and energize my body. It's all about progress, not perfection. When I run, I need two things, a great playlist and the right gear. Having comfortable shoes keeps my mind off my feet so that I can lose myself in the music. Sound mind, sound body is essential for self-love and self-empowerment. Sometimes I need to blow off steam and sometimes I'll go for a run just to clear my mind. Running just gets me into this zone that really optimizes my creativity. Running for me is a release and the music is actually the path for escape. It sets me up to attack my day with full-on ferocity. I live every moment to the fullest. With its roots in Brazil and Asia, MMA is one of the most challenging sports in the world. Today, I'm going to learn what it takes in the cage and on the mat from one of the top MMA trainers in the country. Follow me to see what it takes to be a badass at MMA. While the pros make aerial arts look elegant and effortless, it requires an enormous amount of strength, coordination, and skill. I'm going to learn to fly with Aloysia Gavre, a veteran Cirque du Soleil performer. Let's see what it takes to be a badass in the air.